Hi everyone. So I'm filming this on Saturday, July 1st, and today was our community's ginormous rummage sale. And I have been working since um, a week ago Friday, uh, helping set up, and I am in charge of the crafts section, art supplies and craft supplies. And I have, um, a couple of years ago I made, I think it was, it was either two or three videos uh, that took you around the um, rummage sale and showed you just how crazy huge it was. I will try to remember to link those videos down in the description bar. Anyway, I thought I would show you what I got this year. I did not buy a lot, but I... There was actually some lace this year, which there hadn't been very much lace for quite a while. Um, and um, I'm trying to think. Some of this stuff I got for like a dollar a bag or two dollars a bag. I think overall I spent about forty dollars on everything, but I had a few things that I'm not going to have here to show you. So anyway, these are not very exciting, but I got a whole bunch of Sharpies. I love Sharpies. I use them for all kinds of things. And I had this bag of probably 50 of them. So that was kind of interesting. I bought myself um, a couple of different packs, actually, of pastels because um, I do want to try doing some art, <laughs> which should be funny. Pastels appeal to me, so I figured I'd pick those up. Um, I only got one, um, steet, steet, one sheet of stickers, and it's just this one, Secret Garden. Um, I don't use stickers, oh, stickers, I don't use stamps a lot. I think I said sticker sheet, didn't I? Yeah, stamp sheet. I don't use stamps a lot, but when I do, I like, like, very pretty, feminine, whatever ones like that, so I got those. Um, it, some it, I have a couple of random adhesives. Some of these things I didn't even buy. It's just that I took them because I would have thrown them out otherwise. I've got some more um, pastels. I got some buttons. You guys are pretty seeing these, right? And I'm sure there's some missing in there, but that's fine. I don't care. And a lot of what I got is actually to put in the gift bags that I send when I... Um, when people purchase from me. I used to have these and I don't know what happened to them. I think I got rid of them so I got some again because it's actually kind of fun using these markers to color uh, black and white photos. You guys are going to like these I think. So I got these for $2.50 and I thought they were really really cute. They're in really good condition. They only have like a couple of marks and that I know I can clean those off. They're tiny. They're size 5 and actually they will probably fit my younger daughter and if she really wants them and if she'd wear them I guess I could let her have them. But my thought was to use these for altering because they're so pretty don't you think? Okay so let's see what else I have that I'm going to try and do all my like non fabricy trim things first. Oh, look, more pastels in a book to try to teach me how to do it. Um, I got that because I, I do have one, I think, but I know I could use more than one in my scrapping. I do still scrap ever. Uh, tape runner with dispenser. Let's see. Oh, this is like sort of random bits and bobs. But some of this is like jewelry. This is gorgeous. This is um, an acrylic in gold, but look at the color of that. That is unusually bright, I think. So I was like, oh yeah, I have to have that. Let's see what's in here. I'm just going to tip it out on the floor and then I'll pick up pieces and show you. Oh, there's a bunch of crystals. These are just like the plastic ones, you know, like that. But I like those for projects. Um, found a little, yeah. Sorry, I'm really having a hard time figuring out how to use the camera because I'm usually behind the camera and not in front of it and I don't know why that's not focusing but I think you can see that's a dragonfly pin I thought that was kind of cute and really pretty this look at this this pin here see I can't figure out how to do this ah everything's backwards 
I thought that was lovely. Um, and I got a few stones, and I re really like that one. It's gorgeous, bright red heart. So that's that. And then, oh, I have just a couple of little charms there that are, look like pretty little blue flowers. Oh, and please excuse my hands. I was, um, one of the things I did yesterday, I was there for like seven hours, eight hours yesterday, and um, I was going through all the ink pads and testing them and cleaning them, wiping them off and stuff, and I have like ink all over my hands. It's actually way better now, but it's still, still there. I, these napkins showed up, and I just thought they were kind of pretty. Let's see. Let's pull that back a bit. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. I think that might help. So, yeah, I just thought that was kind of pretty. I have no idea what I'll do with it, but anyway. And then there's another one. Same idea. Um, I got like <laughs> random pieces of ribbon and trim because um, I will use those for my little um, gift bags. So that's good. I hope everything's in there. I didn't even look. But um, I wanted to make this little pansy mat. Um, this is one of those things that I'll do for in memory of my sister because pansies used to be anyway her favorite flower. She went off them at the end. Well, not that she went off them, but she had others. But anyway, I got like a this pack of card stock from Close to My Heart. And I just got it because it's a really pretty yellow. And I knew I could use that. I got this to paint. Except I may let my daughter actually paint it. Because she's probably way better at it than I am. But I love fairies. So I thought that was really cute. There's a little bit more ribbon. Like I said, a lot of these things are not very interesting. But, um... Some more crystals, and these are bigger ones, but they're still, you know, acrylic. But I was almost out of those, I think. I had never seen these before. I'm sure most of you had. But these are, they're called candlesticks. and So I guess you pop one of these in the bottom of a candlestick, and it will hold the candle in place. And I have had trouble with that, particularly with my taper candles. So I thought, oh, well, I'll take it home and give it a shot, you know. Except that we rare, very, very rarely use candles because of having a three-year-old in the house. Another bit of random ribbon. Funnily enough, I used to have this exact ribbon. I don't think I have it anymore. Oh, more crystals in there. And again, acrylic. And then I, I got myself this, which is um, a cup holder for my desk or for my table. So that when I'm working, I'll be able to have a cup in there and not have it spill. I thought that was great. I didn't even realize what it was. I didn't even make the connection. Somebody else said it to me. I'm like, oh, I want that. I got a bunch of these little uh, chiffon bags in several sizes. I picked up one of these. I want to see if I like using these for photos. Um, I have a couple thousand photos that I need to go through. Um, they're all in boxes. Um, so, I mean, they're in a relatively small area, but it's a huge job. Uh, guide to polymer clay because I want to start doing some clay work. I have loads and loads of molds. I have a little bit of clay, not a lot, but I have some, and I have like a, a lot of molds. So I want to start working on that and doing that. We have the, all these origami little kits come through, and <laughs> of course, the instructions are not going to be in English, but I'm hoping I can follow them anyway. I just wanted to try to see if I could make boats because I was like, well, that's different. <laughs> and because I'm silly. Okay, more adhesive, more crystals there. Oh, aren't these cute? <laughs> these little tiny birds. I just thought they were so adorable. Uh, these are just two random pins. This happens a lot where we get like partial... Um, packs of things. So that one, those two say laugh and love. And I generally won't sell those. I'll just, you know, or I'll put them in a pack, big pack full of partial things. So, and there's a wedding dress I want to use for a wedding album. Uh, yeah, that's not, that wasn't from, that's nail polish remover. 
This ribbon is interesting, I thought. It's actually like rainbow colored, so that was cool. Picked up some a Amy Tangerine, and this is missing some. So I was like, eh, I'll take that. I'll probably use those. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, glue dots, that's not very interesting. I got some Sculpey, just a few pieces or packs of Sculpey here. Um, just in colors that I knew I would use, so white, pink, and purple. I found this, and it's a it's a washi tape tube with how many in there? Ten rolls, each of ten yards. And I may save this for a giveaway, actually, because I do want to do a giveaway soon. I haven't done one in a really long time, and um, I hope to be able to do that soon. Um, there's not that much else left in that first box, but I've got more. This came into my section, and I love these. These are not, are they glass? I'm trying to tell. I don't think so. Maybe they are. I kind of think they're just really heavy acrylic, but I just love the, the um, how faceted they are, and I will take this part and use those beads for all kinds of things. And then, like, um, I just had, like, a couple of random earrings here. That one I liked. Oh, wait. I'm showing you the back instead of the front. See these little, like, jeweled loops there? I really thought those were pretty. Oh, and this is a turtle because I love turtles. So, there's that. So, as you can see, it's, like, really, really mixed kind of things. Oh! And these little, a couple um, beads, but this is going to be kind of tricky to show you. I'm going to see if I can get it to focus. These are buttons. Isn't that cute? It's like a little flower button. Um, and has the shank on the back that looks like that. And um, I think they're pretty old, but I just thought those were so cute. Okay, I'm going to lean over and get another bag over. What's in this one? Oh, I got a couple of patterns. Um, I don't have patterns. These are like oh, will be the only ones I have. I want to try using the pattern fabric for wrapping things rather than just using regular tissue paper. Uh, that's all lace. Uh, oh, I have a few markers. I really like... Um, I really like the, um, these are actually calligraphy ones, but what are they called, these pens? I always forget. The, <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Anyway, I like really nice pens to write with, so. <coughs> oh, excuse me, and this is like a little 4th of July embellishment kit, some more pens. This is, okay, then there's mm, random ribbon. And then there's lace. I'm going to save the lace for last. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I'm coughing away. Let's see. I think that is... Yeah, okay. So, I think everything, pretty much everything else I have now is going to be lace or um, doilies and fabric and things like that. But I did want to show you this. This came in and it just says scrap, right? I was like, oh, I'm sure I'm just going to throw it away. Well, then I started pulling out what was in there, excuse me, and I was like, oh, okay, so it's images. I haven't even gone through them actually yet, but I thought that some of these were really pretty. So I'm going to either use them or give them away or put some in a giveaway, maybe put some in um, the gifts, gift bags and everything. And they're like all very, very vintage looking. Let's see. But they're all stuck in there. They're, it's kind of weird. Let me show you this one. Let's see, there's a vintage Santa. Anyway, so I've got like a whole thing full of those, okay? So, there's one lace that I'm probably going to be selling by the yard. And it's this one. Because, um, well, because look <laughs> how much I got. <laughs> I love this color. This is like a cafe au lait kind of a color, and I don't know if that's going to come out very well in this light, but it is absolutely 
gorgeous. I love, love, love this. This works so well with vintage projects and with di like dusty rose colors. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's about four inches wide, I guess. So yeah, watch for me to um, have some of that available. Okay. And then I got, um, at, like right at the very end of the sale, I just went and just started grabbing everything that I could find that was like crocheted or was um, lacy or whatever. So this one's quite big. I got that. And so I got, I paid six dollars, yeah, for all of these together. And there's one there. And I'm sorry, I know it's going to be kind of tricky seeing these, but hopefully I can make this work. I'm going to actually do something. Hold on one second. Sorry, because I know this is going to move the camera and it can make you feel kind of, ooh. Oh, other way. There we go. See if that'll work a bit better. There's this a rectangular one. And I'm, I think I'm probably going to wash all of this. I think so. Not that I'll use it other than for crafts, but, oh, I guess this was a window panel, but it had the pretty um, lace edge there. You can see that. Um, there's another one. And some of these are vintage and some of them aren't. And there are a variety of fabrics and everything. Um, this one is really delicate looking. I like that. I think that's really pretty. It's got a little um, ribbon I attached to it. I don't know why. I was actually very surprised to find all of these. This is a runner. Um, when I've looked before, I've never found um, these like this. I mean, this num this number of items. Never found any like this or this many. Isn't that interesting how they put the beads on there? I thought that was kind of cute. Um... That's another one. Oh, that's got a rip in it, but that's okay because I'll just take the lace off, so that's fine. There's another one that's just got the pretty edge there. These, it says there's a set of, how many? set of cocktail napkins. Um, and I think they're all the same. Yeah, I just really liked the embroidery on there. Isn't that cute? I won't use them for napkins. I don't think. I think I'll use them for crafts. Um, I thought this was interesting. I'm trying to see which way is the right way. There we go. See the detail there? It's got like a little bit of cut work look there. So that. Just a round one with just a cute crocheted edge. <laughs> this blue one. I don't know if I'll even use the blue one, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, nice and soft, that one, too. Oh, wow. Look at this one. It looks like a spider web or something. Very thin. Is that? So I think I did pretty well for $6. That one. And I expect most of these I'll end up giving away. Because they don't particularly like uh, doilies. I love lace. I love applique's, but doilies for some reason don't particularly do it for me. So I'll probably end up giving them most this way. Ooh! I <laughs> I'm laughing because this, which looks so pretty, it's plastic. So when I touched it, it felt horrible. I think I'm just going to get rid of that. <laughs> that was funny. There's another little round one there. This one's cute. Look at that. Flowers in the middle little um, crocheted one. My hubby just stuck his head in the, the door. To. Did you hear that? He said he was trying to figure out who the heck I was talking to. I'm talking to myself, honey. I got this because I like the uh, embroidery on it. This is a long video. <laughs> Sorry. Look at that. I like, ugh, I'm like, I'm having trouble with this. There. I thought that was very pretty as well. A uh, little rectangular one. Oh, wait, that says something, doesn't it? What does it say? Bread. Oh, how funny. Like I said, I just grabbed these, so I did not, I didn't have time to really pay attention. There's a one with a blue edge. 
Oh, this is really different. This is actually eyelet. Isn't that sweet? I like that. There's that. And that one. I may also try dyeing some. Uh, we'll see. This, like, random piece of lace. This one. I'm almost done with the doilies now. And then I'll show you my lace. Like, regular lace. This, actually, I think is a hanky, but I just thought it was lovely and delicate. The edge there. The uh, round one there. Looks a bit like a starfish, this one, I think. <laughs> Colored one with flowers around the edge. Actually, maybe it's supposed to go that way. Actually, I'm not sure if it matters. And another one with the colored edge there. A uh, little tiny. Looks like it was a Christmas decoration. It's got a hook on it. That, the pretty edge in this, and this, I wonder if that was also for bread, I don't know, it could be a, like a small runner, dresser runner or something, that one, I think that's really cute, I like the uh, lace on the edge there, and I think that one, yep, and another one the same, and it just so happens I found a bangle um, on the floor, there it is right there. I've put a message up on our local message board and I'm hoping somebody will um, see it because I'm pretty sure someone dropped this when they were at the rummage sale and it's probably loved and missed. Okay, I'm going to stop this video right now since it's so long and then I'll do a second video that would just be the lace and fabric. Actually, I think it's just lace. Thanks for watching. Bye.